bitter. Sussex's final plot with BBC come to grief after putting all money to fight back royal. Prince Harry said the term, used to describe Meghan and his decision to quit royal life, was misogynistic and created by a troll and the BBC appear to have listened. The second part of the BBC's new royal documentary will not use the term Megxit after Prince Harry argued it was misogynistic. Episode 2 of The Princes and the Press, which airs tomorrow night, will instead refer to Harry and Meghan's decision to quit royal life as Sussexit, a label scarcely ever used. The move, reported, may be seen as something of an olive branch after the airing of the show, which alleges staff from Prince Harry and Prince William's households briefed against each other, ruffled royal feathers. Harry said, maybe people know this and maybe they don't, but the term exit was or is a misogynistic term, and it was created by a troll, amplified by royal correspondents, and it grew and grew and grew into mainstream media. But it began with a troll. The episode tomorrow will examine the circumstances around the decision of the Sussexes to step down from their senior royal roles. It is expected to air claims of a lack of support for Harry and wife Meghan and of a senior household member helping a tabloid in its court case against her. Harry and Meghan moved to California in the spring of 2020 to lead a more independent life, quitting royal duties to live as private citizens. They have since signed a lucrative commercial deal with Spotify and Meghan has written a children's book which got mixed reviews. Harry has said that part of the reason for their departure was the racist treatment of Meghan, whose mother is black and whose estranged father is white. They have since given an extensive interview with Oprah Winfrey explaining their decision. They currently live in LA with son Archie and daughter Lilibet. The palace has dismissed the documentary as overblown and unfounded with fears it has seriously damaged the relationship between the BBC and the royal family. Jenny Affia, the Duchess of Sussex's lawyer, will appear again in the second episode, which covers 2018 to 2021 as will other royal commentators and those close to the couple. A rare joint statement by Buckingham Palace, Clarence House and Kensington Palace said, a free, responsible and open press is of vital importance to a healthy democracy. However, too often it is overblown and unfounded claims from unnamed sources that are presented as facts and it is disappointing when anyone, including the BBC, gives them credibility. Prince William and Prince Charles will likely start taking back causes particularly close to the heart of young generations which have been championed by Meghan and Prince Harry, according to U.S. brand and reputation management expert Eric Schiffer. The California-based commentator noted the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been able to appeal to millennials and Generation Z members with their approach to causes close to their heart, including air quality and the protection of the environment but he believes pivotal members of the royal family are set to start working on taking back the limelight and ownership of these issues. The protection of the environment and equality are causes he expects Prince Charles and in particular William to delve more into. Moreover, he expects the royals to have a focus on understanding and tuning into the sensitivities of young generations. Mr Schiffer told, Charles, as he relates to the environment, is extremely well positioned because he was forward-thinking and visionary about it years ago. And he is now highlighting that because he recognizes it's an important issue that matters. While Meghan and Harry had the early movers' advantage of being more wisely attuned to the needs of younger people, I expect the monarchy, in the form of William and Charles, to further attune and have greater affinity in their messaging and actions in ways that Meghan and Harry have owned for the last year.